Hey, it's Quackman, a.k.a. Mr. Cynic. I thought I'd give my two cents on WWE being told by USA Network that they want more edgier com content on their TV screens. So, um, I believe this will... Um, okay, so I think this thing is for shock value. It'll maybe, maybe just happen once or twice, two weeks in a row, and then they'll go back to normal. Because some sponsor will get scared and just, you know, bully the USA Network into saying it's not for children. And then they'll go back to being, you know, um, the regular crap that it always is, like reading storybooks and, and, and fucking having some baby face getting beat up every week there for no reason with, with no drama behind it. The same old stuff. So I think this is a ploy for ratings, a cheap ploy for ratings. Just like you are the authority. But uh, I don't think it's anything big to like, like, uh, like rallying around. They aren't changing their, their ways. They're just getting new content they're just like getting a new gimmick to get you to watch for a couple of weeks, like like Raw Underground or the Retribution nonsense. It, it was strong in the beginning, I guess, and then it faded into nothing. So that's what I think is going to happen with this quote unquote edgier content, like 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 the dark the dark hour of Raw, the electric chair. It's it's a, it's a it's a one or two week gimmick to get you to watch, and they're going to go back to doing the normal stuff. It's been that way for decades now with the company. They're gonna. It's it's not it's not the it's not the problem. The the core problem is not is not having adult content. The core problem is you treat your viewers like a joke. The problem is you don't think that we care about the WWE, and you entail don't care about the WWE. So yeah, it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that that, that they uh, think this way about about us. Like, oh, just give them adult content, and then and it'll that'll be better. The, the, the only way you're gonna get like uh like actual ratings consistently week to week, and if you're not pussies about it, you're gonna put like some hot looking girls in bikinis on there, shaking their ass or whatever, and you know. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, the, the, the thing you had for Raw Underground week one, and then you got scared, like, like the SJWs or the Karens you are, and it's like, mysteriously didn't have it again. Put some hot girls in there. You know, hot people sell. They always do. They always will. Put some hot people in there. Even if you have blood one week or whatever, it doesn't really matter in the end. It, it's just blood. But if you have, like, hot girls or whatever, just dancing around for, like, no reason or whatever, and you keep it that way, then maybe you got something, but you're too scared. Your sponsors are too scared. Your stock market, your shareholders are too scared to do something like that. One, if you want, if you want eyeballs on your products, yeah, do some cheap thing like that. That'll that'll, that'll do it. But the main thing is making your storyline strong and making sense. There's a reason why The Mandalorian is a, is a good show without having over the top violence. You don't need that kind of stuff in order to get ratings. So yeah, this is just a ploy, this is just a gimmick for USA to get happy for a couple of weeks and maybe like get intrigued for the show, but in the end, they're going to go back to normal because this is WWE after all, and they're not going to change.